Halfway through this second period, 9-10 to go. No score. Wolves with a heavy shot advantage right now, 17-9. As Kevin Dole getting some help from Holzoffel. Holzoffel rank wide, fresh and nice. Mahajic, big one. Dole shoots. He scores. A friendly rebound puts the Wolves on top. One zip. Talking about an exciting guy, I tell you, you score a goal with the hot dogs on the ice, you pay the price, don't you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what? I just love this play by Riley Hosoffel. He took his time, the rules in the midst of a change, and he got the puck and waited, pulled across to the opposite side by the boards, and found the late coming off the bench. Spencer Mahajic, who had lots of room, and he threw a bullet. And then Kevin Dole, he captures the rebound off the left pad save and made no mistake. Kevin Dole's first goal at home. He's been a road warrior. And he gives the Wolves the lead with his sixth goal of the season. As Spencer Mahajic just teed it up and let it fly. And it came right to Dole. That line continues to produce the opportunities in this hockey game, and they're rewarded. Mahachek throws a shoulder, comes away at the puck. 65 seconds to go on the Wolves' third power play of the game. Oystrick sending it down to the corner for Johnny Poole. Out in front, Mahachek awaits. Cog to the line. Oystrick walking to blue. Dish back over to Cog. Now Oystrick, what a rebound. Paul shoots, he scores! The power play strikes again. Five straight goals. Well, we'll call him a pole sitter <laughs> because that is what he's been doing. And I'll tell you what, it takes some gumption to hang around the net. Yes. And be in the right area. Very nice movement out of the pocket. A good hard low shot by Nathan Oyster. And that does the damage. There's Krog across. There's the one timer. It's a good stop, but there's so much traffic. And there's three. If we see this, there's three wolves abreast at the top of the crease. And you've only got a couple of guys who can take care of that business, and Johnny Cole was not one. Uh, he's got the Mike Tyson tooth going there. Yeah, nice <laughs> shot right to the camera. Johnny Cole scoring for the 10th time this season. A little jostling off the face off there. Just shaking his head. I just play in the dirty areas, pick up the garbage, and put it on. <laughs> Oystrick and Krog assist on the Chicago power play goal at 351. It's another hundred dollars. I believe that's the same combination that scored in Hamilton, the lone goal for the Wolves. Boy, Reeves came up high, knocking Kulba down. At all State Arena. Wolves third in the league in attendance. He's gonna sing S-A-T-U-R-D-A-Y. <laughs> that's the base of the Wolves. Expecting a good call on Sunday. Out in front, Fletcher scores and a quick pass behind the net from Drazanovic. It sure was. I was talking about uh, the shift after a goal. Well, it's a second shift after the goal, and that still remains something that has uh, become an issue. At times with the Wolves, after scoring a goal, you want to keep your momentum and the favor. Uh, not the case. Fletcher sneaking in. You've got to be aware of where that defense is. Uh, they're a very gifted offensive laden defense of core and uh, Fletcher with a terrific shot elevating over the shoulder of Drew McIntyre as he was down early and found all net. So the Wolves once again take a shutout bid into the third period but they have it spoiled five minutes and seven seconds into the third period and it's back to a one goal game. Justin Fletcher's second of the season. Get a pair of penalties off the face off. And now that Paddock realizes he's getting a penalty, he's going to give a little cross check to Kevin Dole. Well, both of them will go, and we'll have a little bit more room in the ice for, for hockey. And a big goal for the River and Node, not only to get within one, but to gain some as, well. as Porter trying to chase him down, moves it quickly ahead. Alvin from center will throw it deep. Johnny Cole after it. Bishop beat him to the puck. Brock takes it away. Now Galvin on the back end. Forehand. Low rebound. Pull shot. And it's it. Johnny Cole has two. And another salute for the camera on the corner. 
<laughs> Crazy Carl getting lots of kisses. <laughs> Uh, how about that perseverance and sticking with it and staying there? I mentioned Johnny Cole earlier in a shift where if he, I thought he, if he had stopped, he might have had a second opportunity. And this one, he just stays with it and stays with it. After Krog sets up Gallivan and the opportunity that he makes on a spinorama, just a beautiful play, turns back and gets something on target, mishandled by Bishop, and there's a backhander in the second opportunity by Pole, a beauty. And that is sticking with it, boy. <laughs> Big goal by Johnny Bull, his second of the game, 11th of the season. And now with eight minutes to go, the Wolves have a little insurance once again. Calvin's going to get an assist in his Wolves debut, and the Wolves back on the attack. And of course it now. That's your Going to be chased down by Mahacha. Broke it up. Empty net try by Dole missing. Kuda will send it deep for Mahacek. 15 seconds to go out in front for Hosapo. Guarded by Peltier. 12 seconds to go. And the Wolves are four checking. Mahacek has it. The crowd rises to their feet here at All State Arena. Duel's been bouncing around. Time will run up. And the Wolves are victorious. Three to one. This may be the best game we have seen in a long time. And the Wolves have now won six of their last eight, but this game was a complete package. Boy, there was everything in it. And they only surrendered 17 shots and had 42 themselves. I think this was a commanding performance. And as I mentioned, just something of everything, really yes. strong performance.